This is one of the harder perimeter questions that I ran into. We got the perimeter of a square A, B, C, D is X. So let's go ahead and draw that so we can see this visually. If the perimeter of this square is X, we can divide X by four to represent each side. We got an isosceles triangle EFG and the perimeter of that is Y. A, B, E, F, and F, G are all going to be congruent which means that these two expressions are going to be x over 4. Which of the following must be true? Let's observe what the answer choices look like first. All of these have the perimeter of y in the middle, written as some kind of compound inequality. This question is really testing you on the triangle inequality theorem, and that is going to state that the length of eg has to be less than the sum of the two sides, which is x over 4, plus x over 4. Simplifying that, we get that eg has to be less than x over 2. But the length of eg has to be more than 0 since we're dealing with length. So this almost looks like that, but now we got to write eg in terms of x and y. So how do we do that? Well, this says the perimeter equals y, and the perimeter is made out of eg and these two lengths. So we can write this equation eg plus x over 4, and another x over 4 equals y. That then simplifies to eg plus x over 2 equals y. We want to get eg by itself so we can substitute that expression right here. And all you have to do is subtract x over 2 on both sides. eg is going to equal y minus x over 2. And we're going to use that information and substitute that right there. So from here, looking at the answer choices once again, we want to get y by itself. So the last step is just to add x over 2 to both sides. And you will get x over 2 is less than y, which is less than x over 2 plus x over 2 equals x. And that matches letter choice C. A lot of steps on that problem, but there were a lot of good concepts reviewed. Hopefully you had a good review, and if you did, Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.